imitator of sounds and calls. Indian Magpie Robin The Indian Magpie Robin is a cheerful and a friendly bird. It is a native of this landscape and lives in dry scrub jungles, perching on the village roofs and entering verandas and picking up insects. It nests in a tree trunk or hole a pad of grass and drinks the nectar of dry land flowers. When it sings, its tail bobs up and down. Let us make friends with birds. Keep water and food for the birds in your garden and observe the birds that come to drink water and feed themselves. The Crow Pheasant The Crow Pheasants Woo Woo You would have heard their call. They are brown birds with long tails and red eyes. They are weak flyers. They eat insects and live in woodlands. The Weaver Bird the weaver bird is a master builder. The nest faces downwards. It feeds on seeds and lives in colonies on trees. The hornbill. Perhaps no story of birds on our landscape is complete without the mention of the hornbill. It lives mainly in the dense forests and is an ancient inhabitant of our land. Different birds build different types of nests. You can see the nests on the trees, rocks and also on the ground. Birds of prey are called raptors. These birds are good hunters and they fly very high. They also have very good eyesight and they dive from a great height to catch their prey. They have very large and powerful wings as well. Here are a few. Osprey, Black Hawk, Serpent Eagle, Vulture, Kite. Need for birds. Birds protect trees by reducing the number of leaf-eating insects and protect the forest too. Many birds are friends of mankind. Their droppings help in improving the fertility of the soil. The food and life of birds depend on the quality of natural environment. All birds cannot fly. Some birds cannot fly. Example, ostrich, emu, kiwi, etc. Some birds can fly low. Example, hen, turkey. Many birds can fly high and fast. Example, hawk, eagle, pigeon. You can collect the feathers which you find lying around. Have you ever observed the birds while flying and walking in different ways? When you see birds, watch how they walk and move their neck and listen to the sounds made by them. Enact and ask your friend to guess the bird you have enacted. Vedantangal Bird Sanctuary We will now learn about one of the oldest bird sanctuaries in India, the Vedantangal Bird Sanctuary, a home for migratory birds. It is located in the Kanchipuram district of Tamil Nadu. It attracts 
a variety of birds because it has many small lakes and a number of trees. It acts as a feeding ground for the birds. The sanctuary was started in 1798 by the villagers who realized the importance of the birds that migrate and breed here. Their knowledge of the use of birds droppings helps them to increase their crop yield and motivated them to start the sanctuary. A sanctuary is a safe place for birds and animals. Migratory birds Migratory birds travel thousands of miles from different parts of the world to avoid the biting cold. The birds nest here mainly from the month of November to March. During this time, birds are mostly building and maintaining their nests. The number of birds arriving during the season is estimated to be around 50,000. As summer sets in, the water in the tanks starts receding. By this time, the chicks become old and are strong enough to fly. The migratory birds start returning in batches to their native places. Some of the migratory birds are cranes, spoonbills, painted stork, heron, bar-headed geese, grey pelican, bar-tailed godwit, tern, cormorant, darter, egret, stilt, flamingo, etc. Fill in the blanks. The common babbler are called seven sisters or seven brothers. The minor is also a good imitator of sounds and calls. Birds of prey are called raptors. Birds protect trees by reducing the number of leaf-eating insects and protect the forest too. Sanctuary is a safe place for birds and animals. Migratory birds travel thousands of miles from different parts of the world to avoid the biting cold.